And your brother wanted to tell you that he was gay, didn't he? Can I tell you, if I were your brother, I would have been afraid to tell you too. Well, I'm sorry. I would have been afraid to tell you too because of stuff like this. Because this is what you're focused on. This is the legislation you want to put forward. This is what consumes your time. I would have been afraid to tell you too. I was afraid of people like you growing up, and I grew up in Hickory County, Missouri. I grew up in a school district that would vote tomorrow to put this in place. Missouri State Representative Ian Mackey gave an impassioned and personal speech against a proposal that would ultimately ban trans girls from playing on female sports teams. Even though his speech has since gone viral, the proposal still passed the State House 89 to 40. At least eight states have passed anti-LGBTQ plus laws. But hopefully Mackey's speech will inspire other lawmakers to speak out directly to the bullies enforcing their oppressive agenda. Joining me now is Missouri State Representative Ian Mackey. Representative Mackey, thank you so much for coming to the Sunday show. Thank you. So when I saw your speech, I sent out a tweet, I don't know if you saw it, that I said, meet my new, my new hero. So I just want to say thank you for what you said. Now let's get to some business. What's the status of the proposal? Um, and do you think it will get signed into law if passed by the state Senate? Well, we thankfully have quite a ways to go before it gets to the governor's desk. So we've still not uh, sent that bill to the Senate. That was our initial debate process. We have two, two times we debate each bill, one uh, in which we had amendments, which is the discussion we were having in the clip you just played. We still have to third read and pass that bill and send it to the Senate, at which place, of course, it starts at the Senate committee. Uh, that said, you know, it could be brought up as an amendment, I suppose, any time on a, a bill the Senate sent to us. There's other ways to get it to the governor's desk. I, I don't think that's going to happen. And mm. a lot of those 89 Republicans who voted in favor of it uh, couldn't wait to come over and tell me in the hallway after that debate or in the House lounge how sorry they were how they understood how this made me feel, but that they needed to vote that way for for their primary election or for the politics of the moment, and that they were trying to take solace in the fact that this wouldn't actually become law. I mean, and I'm sure you felt this way, your words are nice, but the games you're playing with politics, this is you, me, paraphrasing what you might be thinking as you're listening to your Republican colleagues, but the games they're playing have an impact on real people. Do they understand that? They don't. And that was exactly what I was trying to express. And as I've told many of them, I was a high school senior in 2004 when the proposal to outlaw gay marriage was placed on the ballot in Missouri. And a lot of the folks that I had in my head as I was talking to Representative Basie, the nice people that I grew up with, the coaches, the teachers, the folks from church who loved on me and told me how great I was, went to the ballot and voted to make me a second-class citizen. Mm -hmm. And that stunted my development, to be honest with you. That stunted my growth as a human being. It kept me in the closet. It kept me from being who I was. That's And, and now I'm happily married to my husband. I enjoy rights in this country that folks before me didn't. We've made progress. But I really want folks to understand the impact that these decisions have on the lives of individuals and the extent to which they can really harm individuals. Um, real quickly, in the minute that we have left, I noticed that the, the fellow member of the legislature you were talking to had a response to you also on Twitter where he basically said, um, yeah, you said what you said, but I still, I still sleep well at night. Um, have you spoken to him face to face um, since your speech and since his tweet in response to you? I have. Um, he is the chair of the House Education Committee on which I serve. We still have work to do. We have three weeks left of this legislative session. Uh, he's called on me to inquire of witnesses in the committee. Um, we've had uh, brief moments of discussion about uh, bills that, that are in front of us. Uh, we're, we're working together, um, you know, in person. Representative Basie is much like he was on Wednesday night, conciliatory, sorry. Um, and, and, you know, moments of pause, and you can see the wheels turning. Um, you know, for whatever reason, when he's in front of his keyboard, he feels a different way, and that's fine. Um, I, think, I think we'll just keep making progress, and we'll do the best that we can. Missouri State Representative Ian Mackey, 
continued good luck in your work and stay in that man's face so that he understands that what he's doing is, is impacting real people. Thank you very much for coming to The Sunday Show.